Good morning, good morning, good morning world. It's about seven o'clock, I woke up at six. I actually slept really quite well last night. I went to sleep about half twelve. I read for a little bit and then I did wake up for a wee in the night but everything was fine. There was a few owls and birds making a bit of a noise and uh, they disturbed me a little bit but slept so much better. Um, it was a bit chilly and when I pulled up here, I tried to get the diesel heater going, uh, it's blowing air but not hot air. It's not the heating system, for some reason it's not working. And I don't understand why. So I might have to get that looked at. I had the engine running for like 20 minutes to give it extra power to get it started, which usually does the trick. But it just wouldn't fire up properly. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so it's a little bit chilly this morning, but the sun's out which is great because it looked really cloudy this morning at six. But I just noticed over there, the sun is shining through the window. And if I wasn't just in knickers, <laughs> I would go and show you the sunset, but that requires putting clothes on. And I'm not gonna do that right now, I'm relaxing. As you can see, I've had a banana and I'm working my way through a cup of tea. Ooh, I need to make sandwiches. Sandwiches today. Um, I've got myself some gluten-free bread. I need to eat well. I need to eat better. I was so, I had I had potato yesterday, and I've been really bad the last few weeks for eating bready type things, cakey type things, all stuff I shouldn't eat, and chips and stuff. And yeah, yesterday was the final straw. We had kebab meat and chips for dinner, and. I was uncomfortable for a long time and sometimes I need to do that to remind myself why I don't eat this stuff apart from the fact it puts weight on it's uncomfortable so yeah I need to be good oh, excuse me <laughs> so today's plan is I'm gonna go and visit a hilltop with a historic plane on it. Now, I believe the story goes something along the lines of this plane was an American plane uh, that was sent to watch some bombing uh, or to film the bombing or something. And then the plane crashed on this hilltop and is still there now. Um, and it's been there since wartime, I guess. Anyway, I'll find out more about it properly. Um, but yeah, we're going to go climb the hilltop and find the plane. That's what's coming today. just open my curtains there's a whole field of birds I'm thinking grouse or I mean they could be very young pheasant it's not seen me yet they don't have any tails do they well that those ones there actually do look like they could be turning into adult pheasants. Like that looks like it's turning into a male pheasant. Maybe they've let all the babies out. Like they're all coming through the gate down here. They're all going to start coming past the van, I think. Oh, well, can't really see. They're all typically in the steamy bit of the van. I feel like I'm in a bird hide. They obviously can't see me. That van's been there all night, it's fine. Yes, I would say they're baby pheasants. That one definitely looks pheasant-like. Scrawny, but I suppose, you know, they're like baby pigeons, maybe. Pig ugly to start with. And then look a bit better as they get older. Ugly ducklings, as they say.
time to make some sandwiches, I think, for my trip up a mountain. To be prepared, tomorrow's mountain is even bigger. Tomorrow's is called the Dragon's Back, and it does this. Looks like a dragon's back, basically. And you walk along the ridge line of the back. Right. I've got my teeny tiny bread because it's gluten free. It's teeny tiny. <laughs> teeny tiny bread. Will it fit in my box? Let's hope it will. Oh, yes. Yeah, just make myself a little pat lunch. I've got a big pot of salad uh, fruit as well that I can pick on. I know that Daryl and Keith are bringing flapjacks because I know Daryl was making flapjacks. I'm not sure I'm going to get any cooking videos in. I've brought myself with me a chicken breast and I've brought myself um, salmon. But I know, see yesterday we cheated and had fish and chips or crab and chips. Tonight we're having chilli because they've put it in the slow cooker ready for when we get back because, you know, I feel like we're probably going to need something like a nice chilli. Um, yes. Cool, they're big bits of chicken, aren't they? I actually didn't get slices. Is that going to be a problem? Do I just chuck it in the sandwich like that? <laughs> hmm, I might need to cut that in half. Um... Oh, I've got mayo as well, haven't I? I remembered the mayo. I could stick mayo on my sandwich. I'll get that out in a minute. So, yeah, I've brought this food with me, but I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to cook. So. <sighs> but because it'll have defrosted, I really do need to cook it anyway, don't I? To be honest. What I could do is cut the chicken breast, cook the chicken breast up later anyway, and then have it as just a chicken breast for my mountain hike tomorrow. I'll probably need it, won't I? And then, and then I can have salmon maybe when I get back. I don't like to waste anything. So, right, let's wash that and get the mayo. So I wanted to show you these. So the Swizzles factory, we went looking around um, New Mills thinking, you know, it's the home of the Swizzles factory. They'll be selling Swizzle sweets. No, I managed to find those. I was looking for love hearts and things, um, but I couldn't find them. Oh, and some sour ones as well. Sour squishies. Teaspoon of mayo on there. Spread it around. Lovely sandwich making going on there. Lovely. That bit there. And then a little dollop of mayo on that one as well. And I might put a Yorkie bar in because I have a Yorkie bar in the front. Actually, I might put I might put those squishies in. You need sugar, don't you, when you're on a hike up a hill? You need a bit of sugar. Uh, and they're going to bring flapjacks, so I don't need to take too much. Whatever I take, I've got to carry. Right, let's put everything back in the fridge. Well, I found my pheasant friends at the bottom of the track. I need to get past. Excuse me, pheasant friends. Please don't go towards the main road. Go into the bushes. No, that's a silly direction. Go into the bushes. Come on, baby. Goodness, baby pheasants are even more silly than grown-up pheasants. Shifty, shifty. Keep going. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs>
I've shoved tissue in my ear, both my ears, just to stop the wind from blowing, which means I'm going to spend the whole day going, pardon, what? Because otherwise I get earache and it's too hot to wear my hood. That's the slab. We found the slab. And where were we? We were just here going, did we miss the slab? <laughs> so just we're there. now leaving the Pennine Way. So that was the Pennine Way, was it? Now we're... It's funny, I thought it would be much bigger. <laughs> Way bigger. Way bigger. Like miles and miles bigger. So that's where it starts, or part of it, is it where they're all parked? Right. No, it starts in Edo. Okay. It's miles over that way. This is very spongy. It's like walking on sponge. Was it peat, isn't it? Yeah. So if you fall over, you've got a soft landing. Oh, is that a grouse just... Yeah resting on that lump. So it's got a nest. Hello grouse. Is that your house? It's very windy. It's like a big gorge that I think we have to work our way down to get to the other side. What sort of caterpillar are you? Ow! Dog! You've curled it up. Flipping animals are my videos. Spongy, look at that. It's like walking on a waterbed. Lie down in it. No, thank you. Are you reading? Left over spade? Trig point ahead. It's sunny in Manchester. Oh, trick point. Hello. Hello. Oh, you got that before me. Steam. 
is what you call a very British picnic, 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 picnic. Sheltering under a big rock in the rain, drinking tea from the thermos. Backwards parting going on. It's the wind's blowing from behind. Yeah, I can smell it. Thanks. Oh, look at all the heather. Came at the right time for the heather, didn't we? We did. It's just flowering nicely now, isn't it? Yeah. Everywhere you look, it's got that purpley hue. There's my spog in the distance. This is the view of Lady Bower Reservoir. Trees, grass, Leaves, avocados, many things. Chili for dinner. You've looked. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing tomorrow? We're going up the dragon's back. Ooh. That sounds hard work. Is it hard work? A little bit. Harder <laughs> than today's. Harder than today's. Yeah, harder than today. A lot harder or a little bit harder? Quite a bit harder. Are you going to lie to me so that I'm like, yeah, it's <laughs> no, a breeze? It's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Short, sharp shocks. Yeah. Okay, but not the whole thing vertical. Like, no. you, you, you. No, it's not the mat at all. That, this, that. It's more like... <sighs> okay, That's, how did that go? That's the official way of describing it, apparently. It, it's not bad, is it? You managed it, didn't you? And you're only a baby, aren't you? You managed it. We'll yes. see if I manage it. I'm not very good with this. I'm all right with this, and I'm all right with this. But the more it does this, the more I do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. You love a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah. And bye.